but when um, critics say you can't do this, your answer to them is... We've done it. There are American heroes who don't like this idea. And I wonder what you think of that. I was very sad to see that uh, because those guys are, yeah. You know, those guys are heroes of mine, so it's really tough. You know, I, I wish they would come and visit and, and see the hardware that we're doing here. And, and I think that would change their mind. Hi guys, so today's video I'm going to be talking a little bit about Mars, as you probably guessed. Along with me today I've got Junior, you might remember Junior from one of my previous videos. He's going to be coming along with me more and more as we do these videos. Uh, we've got very similar interests, so this should make for a good video. Hussein on toes, close in his sleeping bags I've come to know the memories Were the best things you ever had The sun was shone, beat down in bony bags So far from home, where the ocean stood Down dust and pine contracts Better I can't do this shit <laughs> We slept like dogs down by the fireside, or to the fall. <laughs> it's the boom of summertime. We stood steady as the stars in the world, so happy hearted in the warm, ran true inside these bones. Is the old pine fell we say Just to bless the morning There's a common misconception that Mars is this hot, barren planet which is understandable because we give it the name the Red Planet but in actual fact Mars is this frozen, desolate planet and in winter can reach temperatures as low as minus 200 To put that into context, the coldest day ever recorded on Earth was in Antarctica and temperatures only went to as low as minus 89 Okay, so we've just stopped off in these woods, walked down a little stone track and pushed a bit further in these woods to get some uh, hot water going, get a little fire made and uh, hopefully get some, get some food because we're starving. So that's where we are right now, in the middle of these woods and um, yeah, get some food. Got to get that fire going. <laughs> Ever since the Industrial Revolution began, factories, power plants and even cars have burnt fossil fuels such as oil and coal. These chemicals release huge amounts of carbon dioxide and other chemicals into the atmosphere. These gases then trap heat near the earth in a naturally occurring process called the greenhouse effect. Because of this greenhouse effect, the Earth's temperature is rising at a rate twice as fast as it was 50 years ago. And for Earth, well, this is bad news because the Earth already had a thick atmosphere that ensured that the Earth would stay nice and warm. With the more human activity that we see on this planet, 
the more fossil fuels are being burned and the more fossil fuels that are being burned the more chemicals that are going into the atmosphere the more chemicals that go into the atmosphere the quicker the earth warms up and the quicker the earth warms up the faster the ice caps melt and the faster the ice caps melt the more water released into the sea with more water means more evaporation so the water evaporates goes back into the atmosphere that then travels and travels till eventually it's dispersed down as what more rain or snow so why am i telling you this why am i even bothering to share this information well because here on earth that's drastic because like i said we've already got an atmosphere that did the job of keeping us warm and warming this planet up anymore is drastic but on a freezing cold planet like i've just mentioned mars the very thing we're going to have to do is warm up the planet and one of the leading theories of how to do that believe it or not is sticking as many humans as we can on the surface releasing chemicals as we do here on earth in the hope that we'll be able to build up the atmosphere trap the heat in and warm mars back up i sometimes think about mars and children that will be growing up on the planet in hundreds of years to come and i can't help but imagine that when mars is fully established and we've used up every last ounce of earth's materials minerals and resources will children one day stand on mars look out to the stars see this little pale blue dot and tell stories as if they were folklore about how humans once lived on this planet called earth As I stand here right now, looking over this amazing landscape, it's hard to imagine that in a few short years, our love affair with this planet will be coming to an end. As we begin the next phase of our evolution, we must never forget all that she has offered along the way. She has given life to billions of diverse life forms in every far stretched corner of the globe. She punished us whenever we underestimated her immense power. She gave up secrets that will ensure we survive even long after she has gone. But above all, she has been the friend. The friend who shared our every moment, kept our every secret, and protected our best interests. And for this, we will forever be in her debt.
So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Bringing the video to an end now. Just had our pop noodles. Very Little kind. Nice fire. Very kindly made by Chef Junior. <laughs> and his little, uh, what was it you used? The fire making? I uh, used shavings of um... fat wood. Yeah. Fat wood shavings. So there's our bushcraft tip for the day. Fat wood shavings, you can't go wrong. But I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. As always, if you did, please hit the thumbs up, comment below, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, guys, cheers. Thank you for watching. And as always, take it easy. Toodle loop.